out here. Yeah, I love traveling, <laughs> checking out new well, things. You know, yeah, going to Mexico is the ultimate road trip. If we make it there, dude, who knows? It's pretty scary. So fucking far. Hey, hey it is. Yep. But you have time and a strong, uh, damn it, uh, will. Yeah. N nothing can stop you from going there. It will be all right, Sean. Don't worry. Okay. Therapy's over. Oh. Yeah. I gotta move those water tanks for the shower and stuff. It's cool you're doing your part, huh? Finally. Glad I can help. So, Hannah, how long ago did you come here to Humboldt for work? Nine years. I left Santa Fe because it was hell. No money, nobody. Hitched north, worked on farms, learned how to trim. I had to bail after some tweaker tried to attack me up in Arcata. What? That is awful, Hannah. I almost killed that fuck, but I came back to Humboldt because of Finn. I had this sweet deal with Meryl. It is nicer here than other places we saw. Too many junkies and homeless. They go together sometimes. No home, get high. What the fuck else are you gonna do on the street? Clean it up? We see so much trash in the forest around here. California is very green, but starting to look like shit. Not everybody has time to fucking recycle or compost their shit, especially when you live off the grid. We all should try. It's everybody's planet, too. Sweden is not perfect, but we try to be more eco-conscious. We only have one planet. Not for long. It's true. We gotta do something. That's what we're saying. Blah, fucking blah. Tourists talking shit again. Like you guys have it so hard. We did not say that we did. Tell me again how many hours you spent on a plane during your awesome trip around the world, and then you come crying about hobos spreading garbage in the forest? Good point. Now you're here sponging off us trash on an illegal pot farm with a tourist visa lecturing us. Funny, right? Hannah, I'm sorry. We were not trying to lecture you. We are grateful we found that job and that you let us stay in the camp with you guys. I know. We're cool. Do you hate us now? You're funny. Don't worry. You'd know if I hated you. All I care about is my family right here. These three gutter punks. The rest, none of my business. Not used to peeling potatoes, huh? A lot of work. I know how to cook. Just not everything. Yet. Yeah, but you hate it. You want a pizza, watch TV, I can tell. Like those kids who come through here all psyched, and they have to bust ass, and they're gone. Yeah, well, thanks. You have no clue who I am, or the shit I've been through. I know, I know. We all got scars of our own. I just fucking hate phonies. Too many here. Crusty backpack doesn't make you one of us. Well, what do I gotta do to pass initiation? Don't be a pussy. Stand up for us. You can't be part of our family unless you open up. This is a family too, not a pit stop. Out in the wild, sharing is caring. I know, just hard to start all over. It's like rewiring my brain. Everything's different. Yes, it is. Been there. Long time ago. You don't have to tell me, but how did you end up on the road? My community was a mess. Too much wasted talent. My mom, she was an artist and a drunk. Tried to get her into rehab countless times. Worked my ass off to buy her paint and stuff. Until I realized she was just returning everything to Z-Mart to get the cash back to buy her booze. I just knew I had to get the fuck out before that curse would get me to. I'm glad you're at peace now. So, how did you hook up with the others? Met Finn at some squat when he got out of jail. 
young punk, but old soul. We just clicked. Then we ran into Cassidy a year ago, pissed at everything. Hurt, unable to commit to anything, except us. Then Pennywise found us, here in Humboldt, tripping about his friend Jinx. But you know, he just fit in. Now we're all pretty fucking tight. Hell yeah, you are. It's awesome. So, are you satisfied with your life now? I'm grateful for what I have, yeah. Not everything is perfect, but we got balance, prospects. That's way more than I had before. Thanks for taking the time to talk, Hannah. That's cool. Yeah. Anyway, I didn't mean to grill you, Sean. It was a long day. Whoa. Hannah's tough to figure out. Don't fuck with her. Hey. Hola. ¿Qué está, señor? <laughs> Bien, ¿y tú? ¿Estás ensayando para la voz? Uh, no comprendo. <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> Still learning, Professor. <laughs> At least you're trying. Hey, am I bugging you? <laughs> Never. But let me finish this new song before I forget it. Don't let me get in the way. Talk later. Damn, Sean. Can you try and be less shy sometimes? What up? Uh, the usual. Carving some wood. I learned wood carving with an Inuit native back when I lived in Alaska. It's an antique technique. Helps me vent out and focus. Yeah, I just let my hands sculpt the wood and sometimes I have good surprises. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. It's actually a cool cowboy thing I've been trying to do for a while, but I, I suck at this. It's just fun to relax. Finn is too punk rock to be a farmer. Looked enough. Time to draw now. I like how Cassidy is in her own world when she's playing music. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. are so focused when you draw. That's cute. Yeah, um, thanks. <laughs> that may be the judge. Whoa, whoa, give it back, please. Cassidy, do not even look. Whoa, down boy. Really, Sean? I didn't mean to freak. Stop this tortured artist shit. Share it, come on. Fuck, you're good. Wow, <laughs> I look happy, like I belong here. <laughs> I love how you see me, Sean. I think I look cooler as a sketch. Really? You think it's okay? <laughs> no, I'm just being nice. If it was bad, you would know. I don't lie. Well, I could never draw like that. What's your secret? <laughs> I don't know. I just get inspired by the things I see and do and uh... Being around people like you helps. A lot. 
so I'm like your muse. Sweet. <laughs> well, uh, you're a great model. Yeah. Oh, don't make me blush. We all learn from each other, right? That's why I love my life right now. Finally. <laughs> yeah, but we don't always have to suck up to fuckers like Meryl. Most of the year, it's just us. The road and us. What do you miss about your old life? Anything? Besides some friends? Nothing. Well, my own bathroom. <laughs> Out here, you see that you don't need all that bullshit they sell. Huh. That's freedom. I mean, the trick in this country is just to survive. I guess. I do like traveling around, but... I want a base. Will you... ever go back to Texas? No fucking way. My daddy was a meth head who beat the shit out of my boyfriend. Just because he wasn't white. Yep. Then my big brother told me he would shoot me if I dated. Dated that, well, you know. My mom didn't say squat, as usual. Thanks, mom. So, fuck them all. This is my family now. Damn, I'm sorry, Cassidy. <laughs> nah, don't be. I feel sorry for them. So, tell me. What do you miss about your old life? <laughs> Everything. Because I didn't appreciate shit when I had it. Like, just waking up at night to get a bowl of fucking squeaky next cocoa. <laughs> oh my god. I used to eat those too. You always think it's gonna be there. Stupid stuff like that. But... Things change. Right? Yep. So, keep moving forward. You have a good heart, Sean. I think you could use some alone time. See you later. <laughs> yes, I know. Go fill the water tanks. I have one job. Oh, I think I will miss it here. Same. But we can't resist the wanderlust. Plus, Portland's waiting for us. <sighs> I think I'll take a nap. Me too. So cool I he carries this around. Today. Wish I could see the pictures he took of us. Wonder who's her mom. And who's the other woman? Must be tough to be so far away from his sister. Hello, Dolly. You're old. That's some deep shit. Weird. Where did he get that from? Almost done. Those guys sure know how to live outdoors. They've taught me so much already. I actually never helped him with the dishes back in Seattle. But everything's different now. Need two more hands, Dishmaster? Uh, yeah. That'd be cool. I'm on it. So boring. <laughs> yeah. I don't miss doing the dishes. Then why are we doing it?
That's it. Finally. Need a hand with your own chores? That'd be awesome. I need help moving water tanks to the shower and kitchen. Okay. I'll wait for you near the water tank, so we can take on those barrels. I don't want the crew to get pissed if I don't get their water. Let's get these over to the kitchen and shower. One step at a time, Sean. <laughs> Think I made some good trims today. And talking with the girls is always entertaining. <sighs> Let's carry that one to the shower. Penny's all over the place. He'll go anywhere. Living large and humbled. Damn. Trimming is hard. How do these guys keep coming back? Wonder what they all say about me. Hmm. <laughs> Sweet. But can you do it without your power? Well. You never bothered to teach me, so I found my own technique. Onward. Ready to rumble? Fucking A. Hold up. Too many people over there. Let's hit the other side. The other side of that log looked secluded enough to be out of sight. The other side of that log looked secluded enough to be out of sight. Hey, can you move that tree trunk? Duh. Come on, I 
wasn't gonna drop it on you. Very funny, man. We're out of sight here. Should be safe. Hmm, let's try this. I want you to focus on these ugly mushrooms and blow them apart. Dude, I'll blow the shit out of that. Waiting, or maybe you. What the? <laughs> Aw, that's not hard. Uh, think you can lift all those? I know I can. Whoa, Daniel, that's a, that's amazing. I told you I would. Daniel likes pine cones. Let's have a little fun with those. Pick a rock, any rock. Okay. And... Let's test your aiming system. Target in sight. Locked and loaded. Awesome! Okay, you're good. Now, let's spice things up a bit. Bring it on. Holy shit, that was not a fair fight. That's right. What's next? That was some next level shit, Daniel. Thanks. I've been training on my own sometimes. I know I haven't been around a lot lately. You still have to be careful with it, man. You always want it both ways. Use it, then don't. We just have to make sure you can control it. Well, it's my power, not yours. Whatever. What's wrong with you, man? I don't like this new emo Daniel. You keep throwing your attitude at me for no reason. Sick of it. Am I a bad big brother? Because I hang out with other people? You're always with them! And with Cassidy, too. Don't be so jealous. She's cool. She's weird. Lila was way better. You don't know her. I mean, never mind. That's it. Enough. You're being a brat. You can't say anything without you having a shit fit. We're family. We still have a long way to go, and we have to go together, right? I know it sucks, but you have to grow up now. Oh, 
Stop it. Stop it, Daniel. 